In this video, we'll write the type of reaction for PBNO3 2 plus Ki, that's lead 2 nitrate plus potassium iodide. So I see I have two ionic compounds here. My thinking is that the lead, that'll change places with the other metal, like this, because I have the two ionic compounds. That would make this a double replacement reaction. Let's write the charges above each component here and see how that might work. Lead is a transition metal, so we don't know its charge. But we do know this nitrate ion, this is one to memorize, has a 1 minus charge. So if I have two of these 1 minus charges, that's 2 minus. This has to be 2 plus. Then the potassium here, I could look on the periodic table for that. So potassium, that's in group 1 right here. All of these, they have a 1 plus ionic charge. Then the iodide ion here, we go over here is iodine on the periodic table. That'll have a 1 minus. So now we know the charges. So if the positive ions, they switched places, I would have Pb would go with the negative I. And then the potassium, we write the metal first, would go with the negative nitrate, NO3 minus. Let's clean this up. So we said our lead here was that 2 plus, and the iodine was minus. So we need 2 of these iodide ions. So this is balanced out. Then we had a plus and a minus. So those are all good. So for this double replacement reaction, this is our chemical equation. Let's remove the charges and then let's balance it. We have two iodine atoms here. So we'll put a two here. Now we have two iodines, two potassium. So let's put a two here. That balances the potassiums. Then we have two nitrates, but now we have two nitrates here. So this is the balanced chemical equation. One last thing we need to do is write the states for each substance. So nitrates are very soluble, so that's going to be aqueous, dissolved in water. Then potassium and iodine, both very soluble as well. This PBI2, though, I'd like to look that up on a solubility table just to make sure. I'm not quite sure of its solubility. So if I look at this solubility table here, I can go down, and here's lead, and then I'm looking for iodine, the iodide ion. I go all the way down here. And right there, it says I. That means that this is insoluble. So I should write an S after it to show that it's a solid. It's a precipitate. And it falls to the bottom of the beaker or the test tube. So I'll put a little S right here for solid. And then nitrates, very soluble. Again, we'll put an aqueous there as well. So this is the complete balanced equation for PBNO32 plus Ki. The type of reaction is a double displacement reaction. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.